All right, in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can get a bachelor's degree in accounting in as little as six months. And this is a well-respected top 10% regionally accredited bachelor's degree that will get you a job in the industry. And another great thing about this degree is if you are currently working in a job, you don't have to quit your job and move across the country. It's completely flexible and you can do it in your free time. And this can be done at a university like WGU, which is Western Governors University. Now, now, there are some other universities that use this same competency-based model, which is basically where instead of making you spend four to five years in order to get your bachelor's degree, they test you based off of your competency instead. Now, this is basically an educational cheat code, and it's something that up until now, up until I decided to do this series, I only taught to my consulting clients. And there are tons of testimonials and accounts, et cetera, of people who have been able to get really good degrees from schools like WGU in sometimes a year or less, and sometimes even less than that, like six months. And in this video, I'm gonna make the entire process even easier because I have a cheat sheet, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below that's basically gonna take you through the whole process step by step. So if you appreciate me going above and beyond in this video, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's jump into it right now. All right, so this is going to be a very simple four step process, but each step you really have to pay attention to. I'm listening. Many people will skip some of these steps and then they end up getting subpar results. Now, the results are still pretty good. Like if you don't do these steps, you can still probably graduate with a legitimate bachelor's degree in something like two to three years at WGU. But it's gonna cost you more, take more time, and it's going to be more difficult. So I highly recommend following these steps to the T. You have to do exactly what I say in this video. And the first step is going to be for you to transfer in all of your existing credits and experience. Now, this is one of those things where people, you know, kind of just breeze over this step, but WGU is extremely gracious with the credits they accept. So for instance, they accept military experience, work experience in some cases. They also accept the typical things like CLEP exams. I've talked about that quite a bit on this channel. On top of that, they do accept certifications and certificates. And of course, they accept high school exams such as AP or IB. And then on top of that, they're also going to accept any college credit that you got if you already went to college. So make sure you get your transcript together, get all your experience together and send that into WGU. And then they are gonna send you a list back of classes that you still have to take. And at this point, you're gonna go ahead and move on to step number two, which is you are not gonna enroll, right? You're not gonna enroll actually until step four. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna test out of classes using third-party companies. Now, you might be asking, why am I not enrolling and why am I using third-party companies and not WGU? I thought WGU was already accelerated. Well, yes, it is already accelerated, but using these third-party companies very simply is going to be cheaper, easier and faster. Now for this particular degree, you have to take 41 total classes in order to graduate and get your bachelor's of science. And if you do these methods correctly and you take these classes with third party companies, you can shrink that down to only 15 classes. That's right, the classes that you actually have to take at WGU is only going to be about 15. Now, if you're super busy, you have a family, you have a full-time job, et cetera, you can still relatively comfortably test out of about one class per week. And if you're not as busy, you have more free time. In many cases, you can test out of like one class per day, sometimes even multiple classes. And the third-party companies you're gonna use in order to do this are going to be in order from my favorite to my least favorite, study.com, sophia.org, and straighterline.com. Now that is just my personal experience as well as the experience of my clients and experience of other people who have used these third-party companies. Study.com tends to just be the best. It has the best user interface. You actually learn something from it. The tests tend to be really easy as well. And it's just a very smooth, like frictionless experience, you might say. And if you wanna make this entire process insanely easy, I literally mapped it out step-by-step, step, like which study.com class goes to which WGU class. Again, check out that cheat sheet. I'll put it down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So here's an example of somebody who using very similar methods to this was able to knock out their entire WGU degree in three terms. So after you have tested out of all these classes, of course, you'd wanna go ahead and transfer them into WGU. And at this point, you are going to get a list back of the remaining classes that you still have to take. So it's gonna be around 15 or so. And you're not gonna enroll. You're gonna move on to step three, which is you want to pre-study the remaining classes. Now, this is another step that a lot of people skip, and I think it's a mistake. And the whole reason for this, the whole reason that you're going to be pre-studying these classes is because you want to try to knock out the remaining classes at WGU 
as fast as possible. Ideally, you want to knock them out in one to two terms. Each term is six months and you pay around $3,500 or so, could be different by the time you watch this video, but somewhere around there per term. So if you're able to knock out all these classes in one term, that means you only have to pay $3,500 for an entire bachelor's degree. And in many cases, you might get scholarships or grants or funding of some sort that pays for the entire degree. So a lot of people graduate from WGU with zero debt. And again, this is a degree where you don't have to move across the country. You can do it in your free time. You can keep working in your job, you can do it fast, easily, and cheaply as well. So some of the best resources for pre-studying for the classes are going to be the WGU subreddit. A lot of time people will you know, share tips and tricks on how to study for the classes and pass the tests. And usually there's going to be a subreddit specifically for each degree as well. Now some of the subreddits are more active than others. The second resource that I recommend is Facebook groups for WGU. So very similar to the subreddits, people share tips, tricks, uh, strategies for you know, studying for the classes and then passing the exams. And it's also a pretty good place to network. Now from those two groups, you'll probably get lots of different tips on the best ways to study, like the best resources. And usually these are either going to be free or very cheap resources online. But of course, there are really great resources on YouTube. Khan Academy is awesome for a bunch of different classes. If you're a textbook type of person, you can order a textbook online or just order kind of an older textbook that's maybe two to three years old for like 20 to 30 dollars so yeah lots of different options for how to pre-study for these classes and of course you would want to get the curriculum from wgu so you know what to study for once you feel confident that you're able to pass these classes relatively easily and quickly you're going to go ahead and move on to step four you are finally going to enroll in wgu and knock the classes out as fast as you possibly can finally so here's an example of somebody who is able to complete their accounting degree in seven months so they say seven months here, but it looks like they were able to actually complete it in one term. And just to put this in perspective, typically a bachelor's degree in the United States takes 5.1 years on average. Everybody says it takes four years, but the data shows that it takes 5.1 years on average. So if you are able to you know, finish your accounting degree in one term, while you're working without moving across the country in your free time, and then maybe you take like another six months to do all the transfer in and, and all the pre-study and all that sort of thing, that's getting a degree in one year versus 5.1 years. So that's saving you an insane amount of time, effort, money, and even more importantly than that, opportunity cost. Now, what exactly is opportunity cost? Well, Basically, other people who went to get a normal accounting degree and took that 5.1 years on average, you are actually making money for four years while they're spending money, they're going in debt for those five years that they're in school. So this makes a massive difference in the long run. But even if you're not able to finish it right away, let's say you're super busy, you've got a family, et cetera, it's still very possible to finish it in two years or less. So for instance, this person was able to finish it in a year and five months, and it says that they had zero accounting experience before they started. Now, there are some people that really take this stuff seriously. They have like even more advanced strategies, like my friend Josh Matikor, for instance. He was able to graduate with a computer science degree in two months at WGU. But, you know, they take it very seriously. Like he's basically the king of WGU. I don't expect the average person to be able to do that. But that just shows you what's possible if you really plan things out. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the computer and take you through a step-by-step example of exactly how you would do this. So I'm gonna give you an example starting off from step one and go all the way through the process. And we're gonna be jumping into the cheat sheet so I can show you how to make this process extremely easy. All right, so on the screen, we have the uh, Business Administration Accounting BS degree, and this is the cheat sheet for it. So I'll go ahead and take you through really quickly how to use this. First of all, if you want to go through this process yourself, uh, kind of personalize it to yourself. You can just go ahead and do a uh, file and then make a copy. And then you'll be able to fill in all of these things and you know change them. You know Maybe you mark them off once they're done, et cetera. But here, starting at the left, we have the class ID number at WGU. And then in this column, we have the name of each class at WGU that you have to take. Now, just generally speaking, the green classes tend to be a little easier. The yellow classes are a little bit harder and then the red classes are 
typically going to be the hardest, but that's just generally speaking. In this column, um, the units are going to be right here. So most of them are like three units, two units, uh, four units, etc. Then this column right here is probably the most important column. These are the study.com transfers. So I'm going to go ahead and try to keep this up to date as much as possible because this stuff does change. Study.com, uh, StudyLine, and Sophia do uh, add stuff in quite a bit. If you'd like to, you can, you know, map out the other ones with straighterline and sophia.org. But study.com, like I said, is my favorite one. I'd say my second favorite is sophia.org. And then you can go ahead and uh, click on this and it will take you to the WGU class. Uh, if you click on this, it will take you to the study.com class. So we clicked on English 104 and it takes you to the English 104 class. And then if you do want to save 30% off on your first three months, you can use code Shane Hummus during checkout. They were nice enough to give me a discount code and it does also help the channel out if you use that. So I'd appreciate that. This was a massive amount of work to put all of this together. So it's awesome if you are able to help the channel out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go through this step by step. So first we're gonna click on transfer in. And in this particular example, again, this is just an example. Let's say you took AP biology and AP economics during high school. So you're able to transfer those in. Then you took one semester of community college where you took communications, math, art and sociology. So you're able to transfer those credits in as well. So at that point, you would move on to phase number two, which is the test out phase. And you would test out of the rest of the classes. So you'd use study.com to test out of all those classes. You'd do it, you know, as quickly as possible. And, you know, you'd be able to test out of them really quickly, especially these entry level classes. Not that difficult to do that. After that, after you transferred them in, you'd see here that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 classes left. So you'd go ahead, move on to step three, and you would pre-study the remaining classes. And you'd want to use the references that I gave earlier on in the video. WGU subreddit and Facebook group is the uh, best place to start. And then once you feel comfortable uh, pre-studying for the classes, you would go ahead and move on to the next step, which is you would enroll in WGU and knock the remaining classes out as fast as you possibly can. So you'd want to aim for one term if you can. Um, if you're too busy, try to do it in two terms. And then, of course, you would get your degree. You'd move on to the next step where you brag to your friends and family that you were able to graduate from an accredited, regionally accredited top 10 percent university in less than a year. Everyone would think you're a genius. And if you're really nice, you would share this video with them so that they can know your secrets and they can do the same thing, too. Now, one thing I do want to say, because I do get comments about this sometimes, WGU is a phenomenal option for a large amount of people out there, but it is not for everyone. Uh, there's nothing in life where it's perfect for every single person out there. Uh, just like some people like certain types of ice cream and other people's hate it. It's like that for everything. So there are pros and cons to WGU. And one of them is it's completely remote. It's totally remote. Some people absolutely hate that. They cannot get work done remotely. Maybe your house is too busy or something like that and you just cannot focus. So I did make a video that talks about all the pros and cons of WGU, and I highly recommend that you check that out right here. I also talk about other universities that are similar to WGU that might be better for you. And you can use very similar strategies to what I talk about in this video with those other universities.